What's up guys, I'm Tyler Holtz, muscle farm athlete, and today I'm gonna to take you through a little bit of a different kind of workout. Usually I stick to my bodybuilding roots. Today's workout is gonna be a total body conditioning, high intensity interval training workout. All you need with this workout is a landmine setup. If you don't have a landmine setup, just stick a barbell in a corner, throw your weight on there, and that's all you need. So we're gonna perform six different exercises on this circuit. You're gonna use the same weight on the bar the whole time. Each exercise you're gonna perform for 30 seconds and then you get 30 seconds rest in between each exercise. After you complete one full circuit, you're gonna rest one to two minutes and you're gonna complete three to four rounds of this. This workout total should take you under 40 minutes. So let's get started, let's go get your heart pumping. So for this workout, I'm only using a 25 pound plate on this. This workout is not about heavy weight. This is about good conditioning and endurance. First exercise is our landmine burpee. We're gonna get right into it. We got 30 seconds of this. Keep the intensity high. So since we're only working out for 30 seconds on each exercise, I want you to go as hard as you can for those 30 seconds. Everything is at your own pace, but I want you to push yourself. So on this burpee, you're gonna keep your hands on the bar the whole time. So when you go down and jump out, keep your hands still on the bar. Jump your way back up, bar to the middle of the chest, and push all the way up. This might look a little crazy, but it is pretty stable once you go down, so trust yourself, trust your strengths, and go down there and hop back up. So starting this off, we're hitting total body here. It's a little bit of legs, some core, some shoulders, some chest on the push up, so it targets pretty much everything. Motherfucker. So after you've completed that 30 seconds, now we're gonna rest for another 30 seconds, and then we're going right into our lunge and press. So for the lunge and press, you're gonna start left leg forward and you're gonna be pushing with your right arm. We're gonna stay on this same leg, same arm for 30 seconds and then you'll switch right leg, left arm, another 30 seconds. On these, make sure you take a nice big step back, keep the weight on the front leg, stabilize yourself, use your core. So if you start going too fast and you start wobbling all over the place, slow it down, make sure everything is stable. After you do the press on the way back down, make sure you don't let the bar rest on your shoulder. We wanna keep tension on the shoulder muscles the whole time. So keep the bar off of you, and then we'll go through the motion. All right, so we just completed a minute of work. Now we're gonna rest, catch your breath for 30 seconds as we're going right on to the next one. Now we're gonna give your legs and your shoulders a little bit of rest and we're gonna go right into a bent over row. Again, we've got 30 seconds each side on this. Setup for this one's a little bit different. We're actually gonna be perpendicular to the bar on this one and we're gonna pull elbow high into the side of us. So we're working hard by this point. I know we're getting a little bit tired. Always remember, keep the form good, keep your core tight, keep your back straight and don't let anything slack. All right, so enjoy another 30 seconds of rest. Next one we're going into is a chest press to sit up. Take your time getting yourself in the right position on this one. If you need to have a dumbbell to hold your feet down on this exercise, grab a dumbbell, put your toes under it. If you have a training partner that can just hold your feet down, utilize them as well. So we're gonna get set up. I want your elbow at about a 45 degree angle away from your body. You're going to complete a chest press. This is not shoulder movement. We're treating this like a dumbbell press. Once, as we're pushing up, then we're gonna complete a sit up and extend the bar straight up overhead and then control yourself back down. Very important to control yourself back down on this movement. It's very easy just to fall back and let the bar crash your elbow into the floor. We don't want that to happen. Control yourself all the way back down and control your elbow down to the ground at the same time. All right, enjoy the rest one more time. And now we're going into a landmine torso twist. On this one, bar stays in the middle of our chest the whole time. So even when we're turning, the bar stays in the middle of the chest. We don't want your shoulders doing any extra movement. We want your core doing the work. So keep everything tight, keep the core tight, twist to each side and be explosive with your core as you control the weight back up. Form tips on this one, guys. When we come down to the side, as you'll notice I let my foot kind of rotate and I do a pivot. This lets my hips open up, keeps my core flexible enough to complete this range of motion so I don't put any extra strain on the hips or the lower back. 
you've never done this before, we should expect our core to be burning. This works everything across from your obliques to your abdominals to your other side of your obliques. It's a rotation exercise, so we're really focused on the sides on this one. All right, guys, we're almost there. Last exercise, we got the landmine pull and press. This is a power movement. We're gonna start parallel to the bar, and it's gonna be kind of like a bent over row, but it's a very powerful, explosive row, and then we're gonna switch hands. You're gonna turn, and you're gonna explode that up and away from you. And then we're gonna reverse it and control it back down. So again, we got 30 seconds on each side of this one, guys. So stay on one side for 30 seconds and then hop right to the other side. So at this point, we're at the end of this circuit. I know we're tired, but I want you to keep focused, keep that mentality and still be explosive with this one. If you need to slow it down in between sets and catch your breath, that's totally fine. But throughout each rep, make sure it's explosive. All right, so we made it through our first round. Now we get one to two minutes rest, depending on how you're feeling, depending on your conditioning. I want you guys to challenge yourself still, but if you need the two minutes, take it. So keep pushing it. We got two to three more rounds of this. So this is a great workout if your focus is trying to burn fat or just build general conditioning of your body. Great, great cardiovascular workout. Um, so feel free to throw this into your workout mix two to three times a week, maybe once a week, depending on what you're doing. Uh, but this is just a high intensity interval workout. So not weight focused. Again, we're mostly focused on endurance and conditioning with this. The full breakdown for this workout is below here on bodybuilding.com. If you have any questions for me about this workout, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at tholt21 or on Facebook at Tyler Holt. And for more videos and articles from athletes like me, come back here to bodybuilding.com. Over 45 fitness plans, daily workouts, results for life, only $8.99 a month.